the next one's from Hughie. Subject is YouTube Wait a minute. Success. Wait, who? <laughs> Hughie. Adam Hughes. <laughs> Congratulations to Disco Inferno, Joe Feeney, Billy Body, my longtime close friend Conan, because July 22 is officially the greatest month in the history of the K100 YouTube channel. Over 1.3 million views, over 99 hours, hours of watch time, over 1,500 new subscribers. All this despite the dumb fan base asking the exact same questions over and over again. Well done, K100. P.S. How do you think AEW could fix their booking? P.S. What did Conan think about Rey Mysterio being a mass at WCW? P.S. Conan, would you go to the WWE Hall of Fame? P.S. What do you guys think about thigh slapping? P.S. Make a I fell for K100 clickbait shirt. That's his email. He didn't ask a question. He's, he's putting the questions at the end, but the, I guess that's the questions that everybody asks every week. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Thank you for what you've done. <laughs> you talk about Joe being a bad podcast host, which he is. <laughs> uh, 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 this guy's a jobber. I mean, th- <laughs> this guy's brutal. I, I heard one of his shows, and it was absolutely terrible. Right. I don't know how in his drunken stupor he puts out good content, but he does. So thank you, and absolutely no to the T-shirt idea. <laughs> Next is from Hank Beanie, and the subject is Hoovy Driver. Hey, guys, what is the difference between taking a pile driver and a Hoovy Driver? As a mark, the Hoovy Driver looks way more dangerous because your head is not in the, leg, in, in the legs for support. It looks like Hoovy has to tuck your head and push your body so you don't land on your head. It also doesn't seem like a good part of your back to land on. And here's a short reel of some Hoovy drivers. Uh, people know what the Hoovy driver did. We're not playing that. Yep. Do you recall any botches with the Hoovy driver? Thank you. Um, mm-hmm. The whole key to the, the Hoovy driver that makes it safe is you do have to pull the guy's head in. Right. So when you hit it, it's kind of like a, you're taking like a – it's not so much a – a, a penetrating like like a spike bump. It's, it's like a, a kind of a roll. Yeah. As, yeah, it's a very quick, hard roll that you're taking. Mm-hmm. Um, the pile driver obviously is completely different because you're just sticking your head between the guy's thighs, and your shoulders are landing on the guy's thighs, and the distance between your head and the guy's thighs. Especially if you shrug your shoulders, your 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 head's never going to hit the canvas. Yeah. Plus, that's that's kind of like how would you call it? That's kind of like the art. The chicanery, what a tremendous word while on a podcast by a mm-hmm. Latino. Mm-hmm. The chicanery, the illusion that makes it look dangerous when it really isn't. But it can be dangerous because <clears throat> I remember one time he didn't protect Jerry Lynn and TNN. He f***ed him up really bad. Mm-hmm. And Lynn was furious and so was everybody else. Because yeah. he I mean, was Jerry very Lynn's like the nicest with guy and yeah. never hurts anyone. You right. Know, stuff. right, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think he was, um, he was out like a year. It was it was a long time yeah. he was out hurt, Jerry Lynn. Yeah. Next, so bro, if you you know somebody posted the uh, the the list of the agents for the matches in WWE, bro. You know who's an agent there now too? Petey Williams. Oh, yeah, I had read that. Yeah, I've read bro, had a tryout I read it. Bro, you know it's pretty funny how many guys I was an agent for for their matches that had be, be gone on to become agents in professional wrestling. Right. Oh, you know, Petey, Sanjay, you know, Abyss. Abyss uh, yeah. Like all these guys, all these guys that are becoming agents. You know, it's funny. Yeah. I'm not too to my room, but it is funny that I used to do. Yeah. You know, that I, I would agent their matches. You know, they became the agents and stuff, you know. 